We're about to take this old beat up pair of boots and we're gonna make them look new. Let's go. All right, so this is full surgery right here. I don't know what the backstory is on this. Uh, we gotta go through one, two, three, four, four layers. Um, yep, five layers. And uh, man, there's even some grass stain in there. So what do you think happened on this? If you, if you think you know what the backstory is on things, let us know in the comments below. Get creative. Got a leather board uh, hill block. This is not uncommon nowadays in cowboy boots. It's not uh, what I prefer. And most high end boots will still not use this. They'll really use real leather. But you can always tell because it's kind of got this pinkish color. But this is leather board, so we can't take each layer off and then restack it. We got to rebuild a new one. And you see how this kind of just, as I'm clipping these, how that kind of breaks and peeled apart? That's signed leather board. These are just little brass tacks. Sometimes they use metal tacks, sometimes they use wood pegs, sometimes they use both. Obviously, every bit of this has to be redone, so anything original aside from the upper is going. And that is one worn out and used insole. Okay guys, these uppers are in pretty rough shape as well. A lot of discoloration on them. And uh, while Heath gets to work on the lower portion of the boot, I'm going to take care of these uppers by stripping off a lot of this old dye and dyeing them back. So let's get to it. All right, so these insoles are completely blown out and shot and they're gonna have to be completely rebuilt. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's video sponsor, Keeps. Guys, did you know that two out of every three guys will experience hair loss by the age of 35? Well, Keeps is here to help. They're a subscription business that helps you guys keep your hair. And also with Keeps, you receive expert quality care without ever going to a doctor's office or a pharmacy. All of Keeps treatment plans are doctor recommended and delivered straight to your door at about half the cost of a traditional pharmacy. And the great thing about Keeps is their 24 seven care and support. Keeps has a network of expert medical advisors, prescribers, and care specialists to help support you in making your hair goals a reality. 
Whether you're looking to prevent hair loss, stimulate hair growth, or just take better care of the hair you already have, Keeps has you covered. Guys, like I already mentioned, Keeps has everything your hair needs and it's delivered straight to your door. Easily subscribe to Keeps and get refill reminders so you'll never run low on the products you need to take care of your hair. Guys, hair loss stops with Keeps. And to get a special offer on all Keeps treatments, go to keeps.com forward slash Trent or click on the link down in the description below. Again, that is K-E-E-P-S dot com forward slash Trent for a special offer. Again, big thanks to Keeps for sponsoring today's video. All right, so these are going to be some new uh, padding underneath the, the, uh, the heel of the foot. Um, we're gonna make some new liners and there was a little bit of padding underneath, so we're gonna put these little pads under. All right, for those who are not familiar with shoes, we're just now joining us on this channel. This is what they call gimming. It is a piece of canvas. Sometimes it's linen, sometimes it's cotton, and it's got a little bit of um, leather. Sometimes it's cardboard, and it creates the whole uh, foundation for a Goodyear welted shoe. So this will create the foundation for a Goodyear welted shoe. Um, when the when it's wrapped around the thread will go through the welt through the upper and through this wall and then back through the other way and that's what holds all the layers together so Okay guys, we have these boots welted and we are getting ready to put in the hot cork. I know how much you guys love that part, so we'll do extra on it. But before we do, if you would give us one of these. Uh, it always helps the channel grow and it pushes the video out to a lot more people, so we'd really appreciate it. All right, it's hot cork time. This is what happens when you watch the Great British Baking Show with your wife.
All right, so a question that we get asked a lot, we've answered it, but we're gonna say it again, is when we put the nails through here, these tacks, how does that not stab the bottom of the foot? Now, um, when we put this onto the stand, the tacks will go through here and they'll strike. Now these are little crimped uh, tacks, and so they're very thin, as soon as they hit this, they curl up. And this is what flattens them out, and that's why I didn't stab you in the foot. Okay guys, just to let you know, I'm about to put the glue onto the soles. Now, we didn't show the entire sole process. You know, we got to somewhat keep the video a little short. Don't want to, you know, bug you guys too much and make it too long. So what we did, we just basically took the sole leather, took the original sole, kind of, you know, sketched it out. And then, you know, this is a little bit fiddled in between the waist here. And then all we do is we painted that black just because when you see it from the, from the boot, looking down on it, you don't want to be able to see leather. So that's all that is. Now we're going to go ahead and put the glue on here. Okay guys, so if you remember correctly, the original hill blocks on this pair of boots were nothing more than compressed leatherboard. We're gonna do much better than that. We're actually gonna use real stacked leather. So in order to do that, if you guys haven't watched this before, is I'm gonna take the clicker press here and I'm gonna to have to click out a lot of layers of leather and then we'll glue those on and uh, that's how you'll have your new hill blocks. Now that we've cut out the hill blocks, let me explain why a company might use leather board over actual real leather stack. All right, so these are the hill blocks that we actually just cut out and these are gonna make our cowboy boots. It takes all of these uh, pieces to make one pair. Now here is what's left of a bin. This is about two thirds of the side of a bin. And if you think about a company, they can only get so many out of this because if you look, there's gonna be gnarly little parts on here and this is an organic process i mean a product so the shape the shape and the size and the condition is going to change now with leatherboard think uh, plywood it's just in a giant roll and they can get a lot more out of it now what are the pros and cons the cons with leatherboard is you pretty much have to replace the whole block so you're going to be going through more of that press board with um with actual stack leather you can actually peel off a piece if you need to and put one stack back on. They will last a lot longer, but you can only get so many out of a hide. So economically, you had quality, you kind of have to balance that. 
I prefer the stacked leather. Sorry guys, I got ahead of myself and I stitched this without even showing it. But uh, we have uh, roughed this up, smoothed out our stitches, and we've wet this so that the leather can now fold back down. Okay guys, we're done with the resole of this pair of boots. Now, what we're gonna do now is just put some conditioner on here, some shoe cream, just to get the boot color looking the same, uh, get it conditioned, and then we're all done. So let's get to it. All right, finished up this pair of cowboy boots. I think they look pretty good. And before we show you the final product, then make sure you go down below. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and let us know what you think. It does help the algorithm and YouTube pushes it out to other people. So Trent, what do we do with these things? So as you guys can see from these pictures, these boots came in in really, really rough shape. Again, I don't know what the guy was doing. I didn't ask him. It always makes me wonder what some of you guys do to get your shoes looking this way, but they're in really rough shape. A uh, hole completely through it, and we just had to start from the bottom up. Um, the, you know, the uppers were in rough shape, so we did just a little bit of a dye job, not a major dye job on it, but put some of the color back into the uppers. Uh, we had to start a new footbed, um, new gimming. We put cork in it. We didn't go with the, the padded cushion like he had before. I'm just a big old school guy. I think we both are. And most traditional, really good cowboy boots, most of the time they don't even have cork. Yeah. It is just leather on leather. So, you know, we just wanted to take it a little more old school. So we did use some cork in this one. Um, what, new hey, soles? What did we do to these that you usually don't see on cowboy boots? 
Uh, I don't know. You Blind stitched them. Yes, we did. So yeah, some of you guys, in case you're asking, because I know some of you guys don't bother watching the entire video that we worked really hard to bring to you. You just <laughs> cut right to the end to see the end result. So if that's the case, uh, yeah, we did stitch these. We just blind stitched them. Um, and you don't see that a lot on cowboy boots. Right. So that was, you know, something different that we did. Uh, did a little bit of a dye job just, you know, to make them jump out a little bit better. Uh, peg these as they originally came. And uh, like you mentioned before, we got rid of the compressed leatherboard hill blocks and we went with stacked leather blocks on these. New Vibram rubber top lift and um, that's it. That's about it. Yeah, you know? I mean, it was it was the full gamut. So. Yeah, so I, you know, he's good to go, uh, and just you know, hopefully he'll use a little shoe cream and take care of the soles and send them in to us or whoever uh, to have them resold when it's time before it gets to this point. That's about it. So uh, again, guys, one quick reminder, if you're looking for shoe care products, if you want to uh, send your shoes or boots into us to be repaired, if you're looking for leather goods, whatever it may be, please check us out at potterandsons.com down below. Also our other business, southernpolish.com. We will put both links to those businesses down below in the description box. We would really appreciate if you would check us out. Um, that's about it, man. Yeah, till next time, y'all have a good one.